Hello and welcome back to the Geek on My Sleeve channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about a program called ReWazda. This is not a sponsored video. Feel free to jump around, timestamps, chapter markers in the description below. And yeah, go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> So this is Rewazda. I'm currently on the trial version. It has a 14-day trial. Um, application, I believe, is only five or seven dollars. Um, I'll have the link in the description, so check it out. And essentially, what is happening here is I'm gonna have surgery on my right hand. So I was looking for other alternatives to my mouse which is the Razer Naga, because essentially I've got 12 buttons here on the side, and then I've got two additional ones on the top, as well as the oh scroll wheel slaps left and right, which I enjoy all the extra buttons, but the problem is, so this is my left hand, by the way, um, it doesn't really fit well, in left-handed as well as all my buttons are on my pinky side which I'm not very proficient with so I could use it for mousing and just forget the buttons but it's still yeah the extra curves and whatnot doesn't fit well so because we are trying to become a left-handed individual with Rewazda I've got the left Joy-Con as well as a Pro Controller we're gonna go through the setup. So pretty much go to the start menu, settings, devices, uh, go ahead and turn on your Bluetooth, add device, and then the very top one. So you need to hit the sync button. So the one in the middle here, And there we go, shows up, Joy-Con left, we'll connect it. And so one thing that's a little weird, oh, I actually stayed this time. Sometimes your light will keep going as if it's trying to find a connection. Don't worry about that as long as it shows up in your Windows device as connected. Um, and then because I would like to utilize the extra buttons, I'm going to go ahead, oh, this guy's locked. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that guy on just so that I can use my fingers for the side here. Alrighty, so we're all connected there and it shows up in the bottom here. Um, another thing that's interesting, when you click on it, uh, you'll actually feel the rumble. Anyway, so you can connect both and use both. For me, I am going to lose the ability to use my right hand, so I'm going to primarily focusing on the left Joy-Con. So if you hit choose a game, and we're just going to go add a new one, we're going to name it, uh, left con for Joy-Con. Anyway, so once you have it added, you'll see where you can highlight stuff. For example, you can also click it. So if I click the side button here, it lights up. If I click the other button, um, and that's helpful for, let's say, the back bumper, or was that ZL? It'll flip it over for you, and then if you need to get back to the front, you can click that. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is remap the joystick. So I clicked up and we are going to say move mouse up. I'm gonna go down, move mouse down, going left, move mouse left to the right, move mouse right. And then once you get everything you wanna configure, you gotta hit apply up top. And so, I guess you, you can't see that I'm not just using my mouse. So what I'm going to do is here's my right hand and I'm moving the Joy-Con 
Now, so yeah, I'm able to move, but now I want to be able to click. So I'm going to map the top one for left click. Hmm, or sorry, right click. And I'm going to map the bottom trigger for left. And then we're going to hit apply. So now I'm moving. So use global mouse settings is nice, but I've noticed in my experience the Joy-Con is less precise, so I want it a little bit slower. But for me, I've got two monitors and this is just like super slow. So I'm gonna uncheck uncheck global and then I'm just gonna actually, yeah, there we go. And you can see values. Uh, let us say 10 and then I want it to be synchronized. Or whoops, that was up. Okay, cool. It does all the same for all the mouse movements. So we'll go ahead and apply. Yeah, there you go. That's a little bit quicker. And then for me, hmm. Yeah, so that's that's essentially the basics. Very exciting product. And you can if you were trying to use it for a game, you can do keyboard commands or keyboard buttons as well as number buttons. Um, there's also media controls you can utilize, arrow keys, yeah, regular controller buttons if you want to map those. I'm still going to be working on what all I want to configure, but for me, for the moment, being able to move and click is, uh, yeah, a big deal. All right, so that's the basics into how I'm turning a Joy-Con controller into a mouse. Um, several more things you can do optimizing or um, configuration-wise. I'll leave those to you guys to figure out. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I will be doing more hardware and software things for you know becoming left-handed and or how just funky ways to utilize your computer uh go ahead and give a thumbs up and a like thank you and uh see you in the next one